Hey guys, I am back. It's Idre here, and I I know this is the same day, but I'm doing another Depeche Mode review this time of Some Great Reward. Some Great Reward is Depeche Mode's fourth studio album, coming right after Construction Time Again, which was released just one year prior. This album was released in 1984, and it marked the beginning of Depeche Mode's steep rise to stardom, especially in the United States, at least in my opinion. Some Great Reward has a lot of the same industrial sounds that were experimented with on their previous album, Construction Time Again, and uh, to me, I always just felt like a continuation of that album. You know, in many ways, there is a lot of similarities there. But the main difference between the two is that while Construction Time Again was a very uh, experimental album, Some Great Reward scales back to experimentation and tends to make more structured, more complete sounding songs that are ready for the radio, are ready to be listened to, ready to be played at concerts especially. I mean, this album, you have multiple songs, which, at least during the 80s, were pretty much concert staples. Something to do, People Are People, Master and Servant, and Blasphemous Rumors. Those songs right there are all perfectly suited for a good stadium concert. And the reason why I personally lean a little bit more towards liking this album a little more is because Some Great Reward takes what I like about Construction Time again and puts it in a more tight and more condensed and more uh, solid package. And this isn't a hate on Construction Time again. I like Construction Time again. But the band really was on top of their game when it came down to taking that industrial sound and making it sound more like Depeche Mode. You know, bringing some of the dark atmospheres back, especially on Stories of Old. Well, blending all those industrial soundscapes and samples into the music. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the state of the band during this time. I, f I didn't do that much in the last review, since that one was a little shorter. Um, the band, this is the fourth year in a row the band would put out an album. And uh, popularity-wise... They were pretty. They were going pretty steady up until this point. I mean, Construction Time Again wasn't a huge hit, but it wasn't like a complete flop for them since they had yet to have a humongous album. They've had good singles, but albums, you know, they've reached the top ten. But, you know, this album, in many ways, wasn't that different, but it really was the first album to make an impact overseas in America. The song, Peep, the song People Are People was a huge hit in America. People Are People was arguably, t to date, or at least up to this point, their largest so single yet. Even bigger than Just Can't Get Enough, at least in America. And that's an interesting song to analyze because it's a very industrial-sounding song. All the different sound effects, including the music video, is very industrial, and yet it was a huge hit. And this propelled the album and the band up to, you know, more respectable levels in the music industry, in my opinion. At least that's, at least that's the vibe I get from all of this. Uh, stylistically, the band is on top of their game. Uh, Dave's vocals are pretty good here. I wanted to bring that up because I didn't bring up his vocals in the last album review. Mainly just because it wasn't that, you know changing of anything but he really starts to let loose heavily on some great reward uh stories of old really does show his vocal abilities very nicely in blasphemous rumors really really brings out the more british basildon sounding of uh, accent of his really really well and I, and I think that it really gives this album a nice unique touch uh, song by song, track by track basis. This is an extremely solid album. You know, I want us like something to do for an opener. So far, up to this date, up up to this point, probably their best album opener yet. It starts off right away high energy. There's no time wasted, and you know that's something that sometimes you can't really say. Sometimes a lot of these albums you have to ease into, but this one goes straight into it. 
And um, you get a solid track list all the way through, and you end on a really high note with Blasphemous Rumors. I want to take a little bit to talk about Blasphemous Rumors and why I think that is the best song probably on this album. Uh, not only is the song deep and lyrically a masterpiece, Blasphemous Rumors is just such an interesting listen. You know, it has a very somber sound to it, well, all these industrial sounds are being, like, floated around your head. And you have these really deep and uh, kind of saddening lyrics. And uh, then you it all comes in with a really great chorus, which is catchy, which is um, iconic, and is Depeche Mode. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. When I think of Depeche Mode, that chorus pops in my head. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's just, that's another topic. Is lyrically, this album is a lot less is a lot less political than Construction Time Again, and is much more personal and about personal relationship and you know stuff like that. And blasphemous rumors. Oh my gosh, that's a if that's not a statement on uh, you know religious stuff, but also personal stuff and sin and everything like that common themes throughout the festival, but I don't know what is, you know. But there's also a lot of kind of sexual themes throughout this thing as well. There's a lot of uh, kind of nodding to it, especially with Master and Servant, which is, uh, I think the title says it all. But one of the most important songs on this album to the band, in terms of the band's career, is the song Somebody. Martin sings that it's a piano ballad, which is a first for them. Most of, almost every single song up to this point for Depeche Mode has been relatively electronic, but this song's purely a piano ballad that was also a hit alongside Blasphemous Rumors on the double single, but somebody marked, kind of, kind of gave Depeche Mode a pass, like, you know, some bands, they try to do a uh, acoustic song on piano or on guitar. It doesn't go over that well, but people like somebody. And to this date, you'll, you will still find piano songs on some of their albums. They will do acoustic songs live. And, I, and this was really the start of that. So overall, I think Some Great Reward is an extremely important album. I think all the members contribute heavily to the sound of this thing. Alan which I didn't bring up in the last review, now that I think about it, is now an f- official member. He was on Construction Time again as well, so he contributed a lot more. Uh, Martin's songwriting ha- just keeps on getting better. Dave's vocals keep on getting better. And ultimately, the package is really a really strong album that was pretty successful. And, you know... To this day, I think it still holds up pretty well. I mean, it's only nine songs long, but within these nine songs, you know, it's it's a it's a perfectly executed industrial album. I guess is the best way to industrial pop album. They take the ideas that they were brewing on construction time again with some of the dark atmospheres from Broken Frame, merge it all together, and you get a perfect package. This is a perfectly constructed Depeche Mode doing industrial music so that's about it for now you know this album is really good it's aged very well you know it has some of their deepest material and also some of their most intriguing to listen to material that's about it for now black celebration is next